Father, we thank you that you are the source of family. As we listen to your word this morning, we pray that the spirit of family will descend upon this hall. And we pray, Lord, that we will experience a bit of that fellowship between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, above all, I pray that everyone in this hall will catch your heart. And help us Holy Spirit minister to our hearts take these words and interpret them into our individual situations in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may take your seats. Uh, praise the Lord. A uh, very good morning to you all. Uh, it's a great honor for me to minister to you this morning. Uh, and I recognize all the men of God who are carrying out uh, God's assignments in different parts of the continent and the world. God bless you. You know we are all part of the same kingdom. And that's something my prayer is that all the church will, will all understand it. It's God's work. And we've been privileged to be part of something big that is doing. And, uh, you know, it's always good to meet other people who are working on a different part of God's uh, kingdom or estate. Remember, in the end, God brings together everything into Christ. Everything is going to be brought together. Amen. Amen. Now, um, let me just begin by getting an idea of what kind of uh, group we have here. Can I just see how many married men are in the here? If you're married. Okay. How many Married ladies are in the home. Abadam Ubarihan Wakabu Batse Muzamuri Biganza Bianyu. Uh, how many unmarried people are in the home? Male and female. Ni Vande Rova Shokwa Vichana Rikoba Tu Batse Bata Bada Fitingo. All right. That seems fairly even, huh? That won't see me vary in the Kunga. Let me also find out how many of you attended the first service on Sunday. Wow. Can I ask it the other way around? How many did not attend the first service on Sunday? How many were not there? Wow, okay. It's also half half almost. All All right. Right. Um I will, what I will do, I laid the foundation on Sunday. I would encourage you to get that message if um, please get the message. I think it was in English and uh Kinyarwanda. Mm -hmm. I'll just summarize the main points because it's important for us to understand what we're going to share today. Our moderator this morning, our brother uh, told us, shared with from one, Psalm 127, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Uh, 
bababu bakirubusa abatubakira mu mana cyangwa se abatari kumwe nayo The question is how does God build the house Reka rero twibaze iki kibazo tutese imana yubaka inzu cyangwa se urugo ite Now he also shared with us the, the parable about the two builders Umukozi w'imana wayoboye yatweretse babubatsi babiri batandukanye uko bubatse One is building on the sand the other one is building on the rock for a long time, I thought when I read that story, I didn't really analyze it. I thought the one who built on the sun did not hear the words of God. But Jesus very clearly says, He who hears my word and does them. Ariko Yesu yarabivuze neza aravuga ati uwumva ijambo ryanjye akarikora is like one who builds on the rock ameze nk'uwubatse kurutare he who hears my word and does not do it noneho uwumva ijambo ntakora ibyijambo rimubwira so the problem is not in the hearing mu yandi magambo ikibazo ntabwo kiri mu byo twumva the difference is between the person who hears and obeys. Both built. Both had a house. If you entered the house, you'd sleep in either of the houses. Both faced storms. The storms did not say, ah, this one built on the rock, I will not attack. No, both of them faced the same storm, exactly the same storm. They both experienced the rain. They both experienced the wind. They both experienced the flood. Bombi bakubiswe n'umuzure. They experienced the storm. Bombi bakubiswe n'uwo muyaga. The difference was on the foundation. Itandukaniro ryari ku rufatiro rwa burinzu. So the storms of life will come to everybody. It's the same storm. It's not different. Bishaka kuvuga ko umuntu wese mu buzima akubitana n'umuraba. Umuraba numwe, umuraba ntuhitamo kandi ntugira itandukaniro. Specifically when it comes to family if we build according to what his design is then we are building in the rock on the rock but you know we have other options if you decide to build your family according to the culture that's how I pre or you prefer that's the culture I prefer to this is how we do it in our tribe Today there are so many modern ideas about what a family should look like, how husband and wife should behave, how you treat the children. That is another way. It's another way of building. Uyu munsi hajemo iterambere cyangwa se igisirimu gifite uko kigisha abantu ngo umuryango ugomba kumera gutya umugabo yitwara gutya muri iki kinyejana umugore agomba kwitwara gutya muri iki kinyejana ibyo nabyo wabihita mu gahitamo kubaka nkuko isi ibyigisha uyu munsi The guarantee we have from our Lord Jesus that if we build according to his word then we will be able to weather the storms Ariko garanti cyangwa se ikizera umwami wacu yaduhaye nuko nitwubaka nkuko ijambo ryayo namahame yayo ameze tuzahagarara imiraba nitera So you will not be building in vain Mu yandi magambo ntuzaburuhira ubusa ntuzaba ubakira ubusa When you build according to God's design God is building with you God is helping you unless the Lord builds the house God is now helping you when you build according to his design. Iyo ubatse nkuko Imana yabigenye icyo gihimanira manuka mukubakana mugakora n'uwo mushinga. Ariko iyo utabikoze nkuko yabigenye uburuhira ubusa iyo witeka tari we ubatinzu abayubaka baba baruhira ubusa. I my wife was here on Sunday. Ku cyumweru umufasha wanje yarari hano. This year marks 27 years since we made our marriage covenant. Uyu mwaka tumaranye imyaka 27 ni twubatse urugo. Our children have all left home now. Well, 
they are not yet married, they are studying, you know, one mm -hmm. of them is still at home working, but, you know, basically they are adults. Ntabwo bagiye kubaka ingo zabo barimo bariga abandi barakora mu yandi magambo barakuze dufite abana bakuze We have three sons and the youngest is a daughter Dufite abahungu batatu bakuru n'umukobwa niwe mutoye in, in May this year we saw our daughter off it was a bit of an emotional experience but you know we realize well we've done everything that we've been able to do now she's an adult she's living independently she's out at university um, and we thank God for the experience we had raising the children. And the there are certain things I can say with some level of authority now. There are not theories. I lived through them. Another introductory statement I'll make, just to show that family is so close to God. Family was the first institution that God put on the earth. There was family before there was government. Because it's families that as they multiplied came to a level where there was need for government. So family came before. There was family before there was church. In fact, the church is a very young institution compared. The church began about 2,000 years ago on the day of Pentecost, that's when the church officially began. Before then, we had the nation of Israel, the people of God. You may call them church, but not in the way that we understand church now. You may say the church was in the womb of the nation of Israel, womb of the Old Testament. But the church was a new creation, one new man, we were reminded yesterday. So the story of man begins with the wedding. You remember in the Garden of Eden? It was a wedding that God himself conducted. Guess how the story is going to end. Look at the end of the book. There is another wedding. So the story of man. Amen. 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 It begins with the wedding, it's going to end with the wedding. So the matter of family is so central to God's plan for mankind. Now what I did on Sunday was to look at the Trinity. And we established that in the Trinity... We have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All of them are equal. They are equal. They are equal. Same identity. Jesus, Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Show us the Father. He says, if you've seen me, everything I am, that's what the Father is. Same identity. So there, there is, uh, we emphasize the fact that they were equal. 
data umwana numwuka wera baresha bangana but we say they have different roles and responsibilities twagara, relationships twagaragaje ko batandukanira mu mirimo bakora ndetse n'ubusabane bagirana hagati yabo we looked at the roles that they have twarebye rero inshingano bafite cyangwa si mirimo bakora we noted and we gave scriptural references that the father is supreme in authority twagaragaje binyuze mu byanditswe ko data ari uri hejuru mu butware bwose but unlike our understanding of authority doesn't mean is above ariko rero twebwe nk'abana babantu ko twumva ubutware twumva ko ari umuntu uri hejuru yabandi Philippians 2 tells us that though he was in very nature God he humbled himself he was exactly God but he made a choice that is Christ Jesus Ariko yusomye mu bafilipi kabiri bibiri ratubwira ngo nubwo yari imana nubwo yari hejuru yaciye bugufi ageza ku rupfu rw'umusaraba We saw that the father is responsible for devising the great grand purposes and plans that take place in all of creation Kucyumweru twabashije kureba ko data ari bushyiraho gahunda ni nawe washyizeho gahunda yo kurema gahunda zose zishyirwaho ahanini ni uba uba wazitekereje Also so that the son submits to the father's authority Twabashije kubona yuko umwana aca bugufi munsi y'ubutware bwa data He always seeks to do the father's will Twabonye ko ahora ashaka gukora ubushake bwa data He's fully God Nimana The fact that he submits to the father does not mean he's inferior at all. Ariko guca bugufi kwe kumugambi wa data ni kumugira muto cyangwa se munsi ya data. Jesus kept talking about how his father sent him. Whatever I see my father doing that is what I do. Yesu yakomeje kubivugaho kenshi avuga ati ibyo nabonye data kora nibyo nkora ibyo nkora nibyo data yambiye gukora. So they're equal. I have, I have to keep saying that until it gets through to your spirit. The son is not inferior in any way to the father. Umwana ntabwo ari munsi ya data mu buryo ubwo ari bwo bwose oya. We see the spirit is both serves both the father and the son. Twabonye ko umwuka akorera umwana agakorera na data. The son seeks to glorify the father in everything that he does. Twabonye yuko umwana ahora ashakisha guhesha icyubahiro data mu byakora. The spirit seeks to glorify the son. Tubona ko umwuka nawe ahora ashakisha guhesha icyubahiro umwana. So that the father will be praised. Kugira ngo data ahabwe ikuzo. We also see that the father does not do things for himself. Twabonye ko data atajya kora ibintu kubwe cyangwa se kugitike. He does it for the son. Ahubwo twasanze data akorera ibintu umwana. So that in our own redemption. Twabonye ko no mu gucungurwa ku mwana w'umuntu. The father planned the redemption before the foundation of the world. Twabonye ko data yari yarabiteguye neza mbere yuko isi iremwa. Because they knew that if they gave us a free will we had the potential we knew we'd actually choose at some point to turn against him. Kuko yabonye ko naduha guhitamo dushobora guhitamo kumutera umugongo. So the father said when this happens the son will go down in the form of flesh he will take on the form of flesh and pay the price Noneho data aravuga data aravuga ati ibi nibiba rero umwana azamanuka ariko yambaye umubiri w'umuntu agenda meze nk'umuntu abane nabantu When the father came up with the plan the son said lo it's written of me i delight to do your will a body of flesh you have given me Data maze gushyiraho rero iyo gahunda umwana nawe yari ikirije aravuga ngo birankwiriye ko nsohoza icyo wantumye gukora birankwiriye ko nkora icyo wifuza ko nkora So the son willingly went through all the shame and the pain and the separation that he had to go through for our redemption Umwana rero yemeye kunyura muri ibyo byose yemera kunyura mu gahinda no kubabazwa kugira ngo asohoze umugambi wo gucungura umwana w'umuntu And the spirit anointed the son to carry this out Twabonye ko umwuka yasigiye umwana gusohoza uwo mugambi And there are many examples throughout scripture Ari ingero nyinshi mu byanditswe tubona mibi When God is at work all of them at work Iyo imana yahagurukiye gukora bose uko ari batatu baba baje gukora Project Earth, creation of the Earth, creation of man, actually. Urugero igihebare maga isi igihebare magumga na umuntu. The Father speaks. Data yara bivuze. Yes, actually, yeah, the Father speaks. The Son is the agent of creation, the wisdom of God, who laid the foundations of the Earth, who did all these amazing things. The Son. 
data yare kuijambo ariko mumga na ni hubge nje bgoze bubone chera burema hubge nje buremi bjo data ya vuze ibi bjiza bjoze tuwona numga na wabiremi the spirit hovering over the earth all of them were involved in creation iyo dusomye byanditswe dusanga umwuka wera yagenda agenda gahejuru y'umuhengere umwuka wera rero nawe yarabirimo bose bari bafatanije muri uwo murimo no competition ntabwo baba bari mu marushanwa no jealousy nta shyari baba bafitaniye unity of purpose baba bahuje kuntege imwe perfect harmony kandi baba bafite ubwumvikane busesuye the father doesn't consider himself better than the son or the spirit ntabwo data yibwira ko arusha imana umwana cyangwa se umwuka wera nubwo bafite ho ubutware he actually works for the good of the son ariko akora ineza kubw'umwana wayo the son is not resentful that uh, the father is you know uh, is under the that's under the authority of the father umwana nawe ntabwo yitotomba kubera yuko ari munsi y'ubutware bwa data the father the son loves to do the will of the father umwana ashimishwa no gukora ubushake bwa data my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work yaravuze ngo ibiryo byanjye cyangwa se nezezwa no gukora ubushake bw'uwantumye son always willingly submitting with joy and delight to the father iyo dusomye ibyanditswe dusanga umwana aho rashishikarizwa no kunezeza data the spirit delighting to serve both of them tukabona numwuka wera yishimira kubakorera bombi now this is important because this is the foundation from which God created the family. Ibi bintu rero ni by'ingenzi ko tubyumva kubera yuko ni kuri uru rufatiro Imana yaremye imiryango. The Trinity gives us a model to help us understand the family as God intended it. Ubutatu butubashisha kumva uko Imana yifuzaga umuryango kumera igihe yawuremaga. Iko ugomba kuresha. Each has distinct roles and relationships nubwo batandukanira mu nshingano n'imirimo bakora ariko bararesha amen 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 so as we begin to look at the members of the human family that god put together nidutangira rero kumva abagize umuryango imana yaremye uko bameze we need to appreciate that there is equality tugomba kumva neza ko baresha most of our african cultures have tended to downgrade women and that is not scripture imico y'ikinyafrika yagiye icinyiza umudamu ariko ibyo ntabwo ari mu byanditswe the creation mandate in genesis chapter 1 is to both male and female iyo usomye neza mu itangiriro igice cy'ambere bibiri ravuga ngo yabaremye bombi umugabo n'umugore there is equality in value and dignity bararesha cyangwa se barangana mu buryo bameze nuko bateye no mu cyubaro cyabo ahubwo batandukanira mu mirimo bakora n'ishingano bafite in a family the husband the father has under god the highest place of authority in the household that is the biblical uko bibiri bivuga rero mu muryango umugabo w'urugo munsi afite ubushobozi n'ubutware nkuko imana ibitegeka much of what's happening today in the world is distorting what God intended. Iyo twitegereje birimo kuba mwisi uyu munsi dusanga bigenda bikuraho iby'Imana yashyizeho. The biblical model shows the wife submitting to the husband. Bibiliya ikomeza kutwereka ko umudamu acira bugufu umugabo we. The children obeying and honoring both the husband and the wife. That is the biblical model. Uko bibiliya yabishyizeho abana babereho gushimisha no kubaha ababyeyi bombi. The wife is under the authority of the husband. Umudamu ari munsi y'ubutware bw'umugabo. But it's over the children. Ariko ari hejuru y'abana. The father and mother partner to ensure that the children learn godliness and obedience. Umugore n'umugabo bagafataniriza hamwe gufasha abana kumvira no kwiga. The children are under the authority of both their parents. Abana bari munsi y'ubutware bw'ababyeyi bombi. They understand that what they they are to learn from the father and mother the most important things in life mu babyeyi babo niho bigira amasomo y'ubuzima nuko bagomba kubaho meet with joy and gladness kanda abantu bundi bakabaye bacira bugufi abo babyeyi bombi bishimye that is the pattern uko niko imana yabishyize we're going to begin unpacking it in detail reka rero tujibwina because we live in a fallen world kuko uyu munsi tuba mwisi yaguye not also that um 
in this model, the father is supreme in authority, but he lays down his life. He doesn't live for himself. He His whole life is poured out into his wife and children. That is God's plan and God's model. And that is what we learn from the Trinity. Now, when I do marriage counseling, I spend a lot of time with the men. Because most times, if the man gets it right, things will generally flow better. If the man does not get it right, there's a big problem. I'm a lot tougher with the men when we come for marriage counseling. All of you have put on either a blouse or a shirt with buttons. I'm I correct to say that when you start buttoning, you start from on top? Do some of you start from down? Am I right? Have you ever had the experience, and you must have had the experience, when you're in a hurry especially, when you put the wrong button at the top, you know, you, instead of putting the first one, you put the second one, and then you... No, 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 if you get the first button wrong, is there any chance that you'll correct it going down? So it is very important that the men get it right. And I really spend time. And today, even this morning, I won't spend more time on us understanding the role of the man. Because once that is got, the other buttons will tend to fit a lot easier. You can still make a mistake down here, but uh, let's come on. Some years ago I had a story. It was a story from a teaching by Derek Prince, the let the great servant of God who went to be with the Lord some years back. And it was a story of a young a family during a storm. You know, it was raining at night, there was lightning and thunder and very scary, you know. This little boy was sleeping in his own bedroom. So, the, the thunder wakes him up. And he's terrified. He runs into the parents' bedroom and says, Daddy, I'm scared. So the father prays with him and says, you know, Jesus is with you, prays with him and says, go back to bed. So he goes back to sleep. As happens in thunderstorms, there's another loud thunderstorm and lightning and you know, so the boy runs into the parents' bedroom again. They pray for him and say, go back to bed. He goes back to bed. A third time, it was even a louder clap of thunder. He runs back crying into the bedroom. The father says, did I tell you God is with you? The, the son says, daddy, I want God with skin on. Now, that is the picture of the father. The father is God with skin on. 
data ni imana yambaye umubiri cyangwa papa ni imana yambaye umubiri God's intention was that the child will first get a picture of himself through the father Ikintu cy'ambere imana yashakaga nuko uwo mwana yisobanukirwa binyuze muri se If you're a father you are the first introduction of that little child to God the father Muyandi magambo niburu umugabo hano ufite abana mu mitwe y'abana bawe ni wowe ubahishusho y'Imana You are the first image of God that a child has Ishusho ya mbere y'Imana bamenya ni wowe for good or for evil Ya bishusho nziza cyangwa ishusho mbi What do I mean Bivuga iki If you do your job well Wa mubyeyi we papa uri hano akazi kawe nugakora neza will grow up and very easily connect with God the Father because he will see when you talk of God the Father he will see he will have known everything will have experienced everything through you Nukora ishingano zawe neza nka papa urugo uwo mwana bizamworohera kumva imana kubera yuko azaba yarabonye gukomera kwayo muri wowe The sad thing today is that many children have got a false image of God because God put it in us when your dad is abusive when the father is abusive he lies he cheats he steals it's very difficult to get a good image of God Ikibabaje rero uyu munsi nuko abana benshi bakura badashobora kumva imana kubera base babareze niba umwana afite se w'umujura se ubeshya se ukora manyanga bigorero birakomerera cyane uwo mwana kubasha kumva imana We unconsciously transfer the image of the earthly father to the heavenly father. Kubera yuko mu mitwe yacu no kuntu turemwe dufata bya bindi twabonye kuri papa wo mu mubire akaba ari byo dufata nkuko imana iteye. About 25 years ago. Hashize imyaka 25. I was struggling with something in my life. Nari mfite ikibazo gikomeye mu buzima bwanjye. I found it very hard to believe God's word even when a prophecy was given I could not believe it. Yarangoraga cyane kwemera ikimana ivuga ni jambo ryayo ndetse nubuhanuzi ntabwo nabwakiraga. One time I was praying. Rimwe nari ndi monsenga. The Lord spoke to me and kind of surprised me actually. Imana irantungura iranganiriza. My father died in 1988. Papa umbyara yapfuye muri 88. I didn't have a good relationship with my father. Ntabwo nabanye neza na papa umbyara. My father did things that I do not want to risk to, to say much here. Hari ibintu papa umbyara yakoze bitari ngombwa ko mbisubera mu hani imbere yayo. One of the things that really wounded me as a child. Ariko kimwe mu bintu byankomerekeje nkiri umwana. Is that my father would promise things and not fulfill them. Nuko papa yasezeranyaga ibintu ntabikore. I remember one holiday there was something I was looking forward to and they kept promising the holiday went and ended without me seeing it. Ndibuka ko rimwe twari twagiye mu kiruko musaba ikintu arakinsezeranya ko azagikora ariko ikiruko kiraza kirarangira atabikoze kandi yarabinsezeranije. I didn't realize I had a bitterness in my heart. My father was dead when God began dealing with this. Igihe rero data yari yarapfuye ntabwo gye nari nzi ko icyo gikomere cyansigayemo ni gihe Imana yanganirije ko mfite ikibazo hari haci imyaka myinshi papa pfuye. That morning the Lord told me you need to forgive your father. Icyo gitondo Imana irambira ngo ukeneye kubabarira papa wa ukubyara. He gave you a wrong image of me but you need to forgive him. Papa wa ukubyara yakweretse ishusha itariyo y'icyo ndicyo nk'Imana ariko bimubabarire. I am God I always keep my word. Kubera yuko jewe ndi Imana iyo mvuze ikintu ndagisohoza. Amen. Amen. I began to understand that actually yes I had transferred the image of I, of god from the image of god i had from my dad that now had a false image of the father nabashije gusobanukirwa uwo mwanya rero ko nari narafashe igikomere nagize kuri papa akaba ari cyo nshira ku busabane bwanje ni imana cyangwa uburyo nabanye na papa ntizera ibyambira niko nabanaga ni imana yambiraga ibintu simbyizere ko izabikora it was a very emotional morning for me but i cried i, I laid and i just said lord i release my dad i forgive him He had his own challenges, he had his own difficulties. I release him and forgive him. Icyo gitondo rero nibwo cyabaye gitondo gikomeye kuri jewe kuko nagize amaranga mutima adasanzwe mbasha kubohoka mu mutima kuko hari ikintu Imana yari imaze gukora. And God began to heal me. Imana itangira kunkiza. That was really my beginning of walking in faith. I mean I've I've done things in faith that I never believed I would ever do. 
ndababwiza ukuri ko kuva icyo gitondo nibwo natangiye kugendera mu kwizera kandi nyuma yaho nabashije kujya nkora ibintu mu kwizera ntigeze ntekereza ko ubundi nakora I've taken many risks in life because I know God spoke to me Maze gufata mariske menshi mu buzima kuko nizera iyimana yambwiki But that healing had to take place Ariko yabanje gukiza cyagikomere nari mfite mu mutima Today in the time of prayer I'm going to give you a chance if you have an issue that God will help you today to release the false image you had of your earthly father. Muri iki gitondo nyuma y'inyigisho ndaza gufata umwanya wo gusengana namwe kugira ngo bafite ibikomere mwatewe na baso mubohoke mu mitima yanyu. Amen. 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 Okay, let's pay deka, attention here. Reka dukurikira inyigisho, reka dukurikira inyigisho. Keep 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 attention. The old minister to him, just keep attention here. Don't lose what God is speaking. Amen. Amen. This is a very, very deep thing. And as I speak this morning, I just want to challenge those of you who are fathers and those who are planning to be fathers, just understand that you are stepping in the place of God. Niba uba tufite abana cyangwa wenda uteganya kubaka wenda kubyara umenye ko mbere na mbere nka papa ufite inshingano zo guhagararira imana mu muryango wawe And how you treat that young life has a great bearing Uburyo rero uburyo rero urera abo bana uburyo witwara muri uwo muryango ni ibintu bikomeye kandi biremereye cyane You know one of the commandments tells us not to take his name in vain Muziko dimwe mu mategeko tubona muri Bibiliya ari ukudakoresha izina rya yuko ritari The Bible tells us that the the whole family under heaven and earth is named after the father so when you carry the name father you're carrying God's name Eka nkubwire ngo ijambo ry'Imana rivuga ngo imiryango yose yitirirwa data wowe rero witwa data w'umuntu runaka umva uburemere bifite kuba witirirwa izina data You know God by so many names one servant of God wrote a book called the 365 Names of God. In other words, there's a name for every day of the year. But do you know what the greatest name of God is? The name that Jesus came to reveal to us. If you read John 17, he says, like, I've revealed your name to you. What name was that? They, they already knew him as Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shammah, all the Jehovah names we have. We, they knew him as the great God, the fierce. They, they knew all those names. Bari bazimana kumazina ya Yehova Shama, Yehova Shalom, Yehova Rafa. Bari bayiza ariko hari rindi zina Which yavuze. name did Jesus reveal? Ni irihe zina Yesu yaberetse? It's the name Father. Ni zina Data. That's the name he revealed. Yabahishuriye Data. They, they could not understand that this great God of Mount Sinai who came back in who came down in the fire and the trumpets and the earthquake was Father. Ntabwo babashaga gusobanukirwa ko yamana babonye ikora ibitangaza mu nkingi y'umuriro yamana babonye yabayoboye yamana batinyaga yakwitwa data wabo So if you're a father you carry that name Niba rero uri papa aha hantu wikoreye nawe iryo zina God help us not to misrepresent him Imani dufashe kandi tubabarire tudatutitwara uko iryo zina ritari You bear that name to your wife Iryo zina uryitwa imbere y'umufasha wawe You bear that name to your children Kandi uryitwa imbere y'abana bawe Now in terms of spiritual leadership married men fathers listen God has given you a special responsibility of spiritual leadership in the home Rero reka tuvuge kubijyanye n'ubuyobozi bwo mu mwuka abagabo muri hano abapapa muri hano Imana yabahaye inshingano zo kuyobora ingo zanyu mu mwuka You bear responsibility for the nurture and growth of your wife Ushinzwe gukura mu mwuka kumufasha wawe and for your children Ndetse no gukura mu mwuka kwabana wabyaye You may have had the story which I think is a fairly common story of this pastor who was praying for the church. And I forget, I'm paraphrasing, I forget exactly how it went, but it's, uh, it's something like this. 
iyo nkuru ndibwira ko imeze gutya sinyibuka yose uko irambu yari ku inkuru niki imeze It's like God spoke to him and told him look look at the mess your bride is in why do you want to touch my bride Imana yaramuganirije ari marasengera itorero iramubwira itari ko kucyo ushaka gukora ku mugeni wanje kandi uwawe mubana afite ibibazo And that's a very strong rebuke from the Lord. Ibaze rero Imana kukubwira iryo jambo uri murasenga we have a responsibility to nurture our wives. Just don't just tell them to grow up and you know become mature. You have a role to play in that. Abagabo bakunze kubwira abadamu babo ngo ariko uzakura ryari uzaba umuntu muzima ryari. Ni wowe ubifite mu ruhare gukura kwe no gukomera kwe ni wowe ubifite mu ruhare. We have the privilege of of authority. Yego twahawe amahirwe yo kuba bayobozi mungu. Also we have to there's a very big uh, responsibility to make sure that our wives grow in the fear of the Lord. Ariko rero ni ninshingano dufite zikomeye zo kugira ngo abafasha bacu nabo bakure mu mwami. Okay just give me a minute my notes are frozen let me make sure I get this right so that I don't, I don't lose but I can keep talking. Eh reka dukomeze inyigisho zacu. When you read uh, the account that God, the instructions that God gives uh, Paul in Ephesians chapter 5. Paul is giving the husbands or instructions on what to do. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter 5. Now I'm very aware that I'm speaking to church leaders here who conduct weddings. So if, if this is very familiar, please just take it as a reminder. Please just take it as a reminder. Let's look at a verse uh, for now. We'll start at verse 23. Let's start with verse 21. It talks about submission and says submit uh, our wives submit to your, first of all, verse 21, submit to each other in the fear of God. And then he says specifically to wives to submit to their husbands. We shall look at that in a moment. But it's all in the context of out of reverence for the Lord, out of fear of the Lord. Then it says, for the husband is the head or the word is origin of the wife, as also Christ is the head or origin of the church. He's the savior of the body. Mm. Verse 23. Yes. Look at verse 25. It says, husbands love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. So you see here that this leadership, as we said, is not a self serving leadership, it's a self sacrificing leadership that lays down its life. Now you know that in many of our African cultures I don't know about Rwanda here but I think this is fairly true in most of our African cultures. Who would get the biggest bit of meat from the pot? <laughs> if there was one piece of chicken remaining, who does it go to? <laughs> In fact, in some of our cultures, women were forbidden to eat chicken. They would cook it, but they're not allowed to eat it. Harini micho nya Afrika imge umugora ya teka gingo kari ko atashobora kuyirijaho ari yumugabo gus. Some years ago, there was a very sad, there was a couple, I never really got to counsel them, but I had this story from first hand. Hari nya kishize harumurjango 
baje numvise amakuru yabo couple numvise amakuru yabo the the newly married first child the wife is expecting bari bagikora ubukwe ari umwana wa mbere umugore atwite there is not enough milk na mata yarahari munza hagije the husband demands he's the one supposed to take it umugabo rero abwira umugore ko ari ugomba kunywa ayo mata yanyu masigaye Am I saying familiar things? Ibintu mvuga nti mubizi. No you are all very nice people. Cyangwa hano muri abantu beza ibyo mvuga nti bibareba ntaho murana bibona. So we have a responsibility to lay down our lives. Many or very few of us will one day be made to die for our wives physically. Abagabo rero dufite inshingano zo kwitangira imiryango yacu kwitangira abafasha bacu yego si kenshi wabona umugabo usabwa gupfira umuryango we cyangwa umugore we but ariko there are a thousand opportunities to die every day hari hari amahirwe igihumbi ku munsi agusaba nk'umugabo gutwitanga no gupfira umufasha wawe let's talk to the unmarried men reka rero nganiriza abahungu batarubaka ingo you need to start practicing now mushatse mwatangira kubyitoza mutarubaka ingo you need to start practicing putting yourself last now. Now. Mushate mwatangira kwiga kutikunda mukishyira inyuma. You need to start practicing wherever you are preferring other people. Aho waburi hose ugomba gutangira kwitoza gukunda abandi kurutuko wikunda. If you're lining up for school for food at school, are you pushing to be at the front of the road? Do you allow others to go before you? Reka duhere ku bintu byoroheje nko kuba uri uri ku murongo imbere yawe hari abantu ese urahatanira kuza imbere yabo cyangwa uremera kugi nyuma yabandi Don't just pray that you find that right nice bride for you you need to begin practicing being the right husband now Mureke gusengera kubona abagore beza ahubwo mutangire gusengera kuzaba abagabo beza mu mago yanyu Amen Verse 25 says, um, husbands love your wife, he gave himself, verse 26, that he may sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of the water by the word, that he may present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or anything, but that she will be holy and without blemish. Makumye na gatanu, bagabo mukunda bagore banyu nkuko Kristo yakunze itorero akaryitangira ngo aryeze amaze kuryogesha amazi n'ijambo rye aryishyire rifite ubwiza ridafite ikizinga cyangwa umunkanyari cyangwa ikintu cyose gisa gityo ahubwo ngo ribiryera ridafite inenge So we have a responsibility to direct the discipleship development spiritual development of our families Mu yandi magambo mu bijyanye n'umwuka ni twebwe tugomba kuyobora imiryango yacu This is what Christ is doing for us Ibi nibyo Kristo natwe arimo kudukorera He's our bridegroom Nk'umugeni When he sees something he doesn't like in us does he come and hit us with the head with the stick on the head and abuse us Ese Kristo iya kubonye hiki ikintu kitari kiza azana inkoni akagukubita ku mutwe ngo cyo singi shaka kireke kireke no, he organizes things so that those things can be dealt with. It's very gentle. Sometimes, oh yeah. Yes, no gahunda nibintu bituma wowe So when you see something you don't like in your wife, what do you do? No, nerero wa mugabo wica yaha iyo ubonye ikintu kitari kiza ku mugore wawe ukora iki? Need to come back to God and say, Lord, how can I help my wife overcome this? Abagabo dukeneye gusubira imbere y'Imana tugasenga twavuga tuti Imana ni gute nafasha umugore wanje kureka iki kintu ndakunze Maybe you have a role in it is there something that I'm doing that is making this come about Ese nk'umugabo wari wicara ngo wibaze ko wende ibyo umugore wawe akora abikora kubera yuko wo ubimutera kubikora even when it comes to roles and responsibilities I know we have you divine roles you may say the wife is the one who cooks or the wife is the one who does that Niyo twavuga kubijyanye n'inshingano cyangwa se imirimo umugore akora mu rugo ndabizi dukunze kuvuga ngo umugore ni ushinzwe guteka umugore ni ushinzwe kureba urugo ibyo ndabizi turabivuga Let's go back to the garden Ariko reka dusubire muri Eden Before Eve came who was cooking Mbere yuko Eva za ninde watekeraga Adam Did Adam starve Ese Adam yishwe ninzara Eva ataraza Who was given the responsibility for the garden Ninde wahawe inshingano zo kwita ku busitani bwa Eden Ninde 
ni Adamu. Now, thank God Eve comes along and Eve may have taken some of the responsibilities, but who is primarily responsible? Imani shimwe ko Eva yaje kuremwa akamufasha ku nshingano ariko nindi mana yavuze ngo ahawe inshingano zose nyamukuru So when you get burnt food at home you need to first ask yourself is there something I'm doing or something I can do to improve the kitchen situation before you throw the food back and say burnt offerings what are you bringing me here Reka rero tubwira abagabo tuti ni nugera kumeza umugore akaguha ibiryo yashiririje mbere yuko bimujugunya mu maso ngo kuki washiririje uyu munsi banza wibaza uti ese niki gyewe nk'umugabo nari kuba namufashije cyangwa se niki nakora kugira ngo ejo batazashiririza The women shouldn't fear to clap Abagore mushobora ko maumashi nta kibazo Amen Amen. We are responsible. When things go wrong, we take responsibility. We find out, work with her to help her. Work with her to help her sort the problem out. So the main point here is that we are responsible for the spiritual development of our wives and their children. Kuri imirongo rero tumaze gusoma twasanze ko dufite inshingano zo kwita ku buzima bwo mu mwuka bw'umufasha wacu ndetse nabana twabyaye. The same way that Christ does for the church he says in the same way husbands should care for their wives. Bibiliya iravuga ngo nkuko Kristo yakunze itorero nkuko Kristo yitangiye itorero bagabo namwe niko mugomba kubikora. So we need to take up this responsibility joyfully. Izi nshingano rero tugomba kuzakira kandi tukazishimira tukiga gukora tukiga kubakorera no kubakunda no gusenga Your wife should be better tomorrow than she was yesterday Umugore wawe yakabaye ejo ari mwiza kurutu kwari uyu munsi cyangwa ejo hashize If she's deteriorating you are responsible Ni umugore wawe arimo kugwa mu mwuka ni inshingano zawe You may blame other people but God holds you responsible you won't run away from God Ushobora kubyitirira abandi ariko ndakubwiza ukuri ku Imana ari wowe ubyitirira ni ubwo wabikwepa na makosa yawe Amen Amen I hope I'll still be friends with the men after Abagabo rero nizere ko njya kurangiza izinyigisho tukiri inshuti Now children we also have a responsibility to the children as men. Abagabo rero kubijyanye nabana naho twafite inshingano. We are told in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 and 2. Abefeso gatandatu murongo wa mbere n'uwa kabiri. Let me read it. it. says children obey your parents in the Lord. Bibirira This is right. Bibirira vuga ngo bana mujye mumvira ababyeyi banyu mu mwami wacu kuko ari byo bibakwiriye. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with promise that you may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Uba heso na nyoko iryo niryo tegeko rya mbere riri misezerano kugira ngo ubona amahoro uramire mwisi. And you fathers fathers do not provoke your children to wrath but bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Namwe base base nimugasharirire abana banyu ahubwo mubarere mubahana mubigisha iby'umwami wacu. Now you notice children are instructed to obey their parents we'll come to that. Turaza kuvuga kubana ariko murabona ko abana babwirwa kumvira ababyeyi babo. To honor both mom and dad. Kumvira ababyeyi babo bombi wubahe so na nyoko both of them bombi because in some cultures the children are taught to disrespect their mothers kuko hari imico yemerera abana kubaha ukabanyina no kutabubaha that's a very dangerous thing to do ni ikintu giteye ubwoba cyane kutumvira ababyeyi bombi now when it, it says parents mothers and fathers the first two verses refer to parents Umurongo wa mbere no wa kabiri rero ujyanye nababyeyi abana kumvira ababyeyi bombi But then in verse 4 you would have thought that you'd have said parents raise up your children now he singles out the father says fathers specifically Usomye umurongo wa mbere no wa kabiri ubona ko bavuga ababyeyi bombi wakwibwiye ko umurongo wa kane bavuga ngo babyeyi ntimugasharira abana ariko bibira yavuze base ngo namwe base Himugasharirire abana. Fathers are responsible for the spiritual upbringing of the children. 
base nibo bafite inshingano zo kurera abana mu byumwuka This instruction is given to fathers Iri tegeko ryahawe abagabo banyirurugo Many times in the family altar we leave it to mothers they can do it but the instruction in the scriptures is to fathers that's what the bible says fathers Akenshi rero igicaniro cyo mu rugo dukunda kugiharira abadamu ngo bari bo bagikorera cyangwa se ari bo bayobora amasengesho mu rugo yego umudamu yabikora ariko sizo nshingano ze inshingano nizo umugabo kubaka igicaniro cyo mu rugo If the father does not take up leadership in this area Iyo rero umugabo mu rugo adafashe izi nshingano zo kurera mu mwuko muryango we the children especially the boys abana cyane cyane abahungu they grow up thinking that this church god thing is a woman thing me am a man i don't i don't get involved in such things cyane cyane abana babahungu bakura bumva ko ibyo gusenga ari ibyo abadamu kuko amenyereye kubona ko ari nyinyu bimuyoboramo agakura na bavuga ati jewe ndu mugabo singomba kubijyamo cyane cyane ko ntabibonamo papa and don't be surprised when they hit teenage and they are beginning to find their own identity that's when they begin to rebel Huzatungurwe rero niba mara gukura bakaba basore bakanga kujya mu byo mu rusengero kuko iyo bakuze nibwo babyanga I thank God that though I did not receive this from my father God helped me through the church and other people to learn this Ndashima imana ko nubwo data umbyara tabinyigishije jewe nakuze nkurira mu itorero ribinyigisha mbasha kurera abana banje nabahungu banje mbakuza uko bikuye mu byumwami so, our children knew they know abana banje barabizi i took the lead in leading the family in prayer i still do nuyu munsi ndacyayobora umuryango wanje kugicaniro cy'amasengesho kuva bakiri bato I regularly fast they know Barabizi ko niyiriza kenshi nka papa God they have adopted all our children are walking with the Lord Kandi abana banje bose barakijijwe uyu munsi Okay uh, they they have started their own you know the other day I was talking to one of them was telling us is making an important decision is taking off some days in fasting and prayer I didn't tell him to do that he's just learned from us Ejo bundi navuganaga numwe muri bo ambira ko yafashe igihe runaka cyo kwiriza senga ntabwo nabimubwiye si nabimutegetse ariko kuberako babonye ari ibintu dukora mu rugo nabo bize kubikora They have come into our bedroom and found mom and dad kneeling praying Abana bacu bakunze kuza mu cyumba cyacu turaramo bagasanga jewe na madamu dufatanye mu ntoki dupukamye dusenga Bamaze kutubona dusenga namaso yabo Need to set an example Aba papa rero ni mwebwe mugomba gutanga urugero rwiza. Let me read a number of scriptures. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Eka tunyarukire mu gutegeka kwa kabiri ibice ibice bine. Ah uh, verse 9 and 10. Murongo wa 9 na 10. Um I just want to read a string of them. It says only take it to yourselves and diligently keep yourself lest you forget the things your eyes have seen. Unless you they depart from your heart all the days of your life and teach them to your children and to your grandchildren especially concerning the day you stood before the Lord uh, your God in Horeb when the Lord spoke to you so on and so on and so on Bibiri ravuga mu gutegeka kwa kabiri kane ikenda ngo wirinde gusa ugira umweto wo kurinda umutima wawe we kwibagirwa ibyo amaso yawe amaso yawe yiboneye bye kuva mu mutima wawe imisi yose ukiriho ahubwo ubimenyeshe abana bawe nabuzukuru bawe uje wibuka wa munsi wahagarariye imbere y'uwiteka imana yawe kuri Horebu ndetse n'indi mirongo ikurikira the children need to know your experience with God. Abana bawe bakeneye kumenya ibyo wabanyemo n'Imana n'ubuzima wabanyemo n'Imana. Well, as our children grew up and began going to school. Igihe abana bacu bakuze batangira kujya mu mashuri yisumbuye. We made it a point to wake up early because we couldn't at night I was too tired everyone was too tired. You know those times when you go to pray and you begin the prayer and you say amen in the morning. Twa <laughs> Twabigize inshingano zo kuzajya tuzinduka nk'ababyeyi kugira ngo tubonane nabo kuko ni mugoroba natahaga ndushye cyane bimwe n'amasengesho nakoraga ni mugoroba kubera kuruha ni amasengesho y'umunaniro nyine uvuga amen bukiye kubera ko wasinzira yusenga Now I personally wake up early Gye ku giti cyanjye ndu umuntu ukunda kuzinduka Usually by 4 a.m. I'm up Sakumiza mu gitondo mba nabyutse I made sure I woke wake up the family at 5 in the morning now, this is what has worked for us. Your family may work differently. 
Ibi rero ni byacu ariko wenda wo mu muryango wawe mwashira hindi gahunda. So we've had at least 30 minutes of prayer would read a scripture would discuss it would use that opportunity to share our experiences whenever there was something related we would talk to them about it. Twebwe rero tubyuka saa 11 tugafata byibuze iminota 30 tugasengana nabana tukiga ijambo noneho tukabaganiriza inkuru yabijyanye n'iryo jambo twize kugira ngo babashe kumva icyanditswe neza Our children have grown up knowing our faith is real Abana bacu rero byatumye bakura bazi ko ibyo twizera ari ibintu bifatika byukuri So find out what works for you in the traditional African families, they used to have a fireplace, you know, in the evening. That's when they will tell stories and, you know. And they were We tried the evening and it just didn't work. But I realized that if we did not have that kind of engagement, we're losing time and we're losing something very valuable. So I told the family our fireplace is going to be in the morning. Was it easy to do? No. You know, waking up people, people are still enjoying sleep. Sometimes we even overslept, you know, it happened. But most times this is something that we did. Chapter 6, chapter six of the same book, verse 6. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently, diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in, the, in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand. They shall be as front lails between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house, on your gates, so it shall be when the Lord your God brings you into the land of, of which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build, and, and so on. Uyahambire kukuboko kwawe akubera ikimenyetso uyashyire mu ruhanga rwawe hagati y'amaso yawe uyandike ku nkoma nizo zinzu yawe no kubyugarira byawe uwiteka imana yawe ni imara kujyana mu gihugu yarahiye basekuruza abanya Abraham na Isaka no gukomeza So you see the parents and again especially the fathers have a responsibility to teach the word of God to the children. Urabona korero ba data cyangwa se papa w'umuryango ni ufite inshingano za mbere zo kwigisha ijambo ry'Imana mu muryango we. We got our children to memorize scripture. Tugomba kwigisha abana bacu gufata ibyanditswe mu mutwe. You know they can rattle off long passages of scripture memorizing. Bashobora gusoma imirongo miremire ariko bakiga no kugira iyo bafata mu mutwe. The Jewish children were taught the five books very early when they were very young. They were to memorize it, to be able to say it. A bit like you see when people memorize the Quran, the young children. That's what the Jewish children were used to do. Verse 20. When your son asks you in time to come, what is the meaning of the testimonies, the statutes, the commandments the Lord our God has commanded you? Then you shall say to your son. We all through use every experience when you travel, you're on the road, things are happening. Use every experience to bring them back 
to the word of God and what God says. Bibiliya yatubwiye ngo uzabya uzabihambira ku kuboko kwawe aho waburi hose aho waburi mu nzira ugenda mu yandi magambo buri kintu cyose unyuramo uje ushaka ukuntu gihuza ni jambo ry'Imana ubyigisha umwana wawe. The book of Deuteronomy was written in the plains of Moab. Igitabo cyo gutegeka kwa kabiri cyanditswe mu misozi n'ibibaya by'Moab. It was Moses' last sermon. Iki gitabo ni inyigisho za nyuma Mose yanditse abisirayeli. He was reminding them of what had happened. Mose yarari mabibutsa ibyo banyuzemo. But he was telling them about what was very important if they were to enjoy the land they were going into. Ariko nanone Mose yarari mabereka ibintu by'ingenzi bagomba kuzirikana nibamara kwinjira mu gihugu cy'amasezerano. This aspect of the family comes up saying look you may lose a generation if you don't do this. Mose rero yakomeje kubabwira ati ibi bintu muzajye mubyigisha abana mubisubiremo mubisubiremo hatazagira urubyaro rubavamo rutazi imana. Chapter chapter 11. Tujye mu gice cya 11. Murongo wa 18. Therefore you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul and bind them as a sign on your hand they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. Mm. Nuko mubika ayo magambo yanjye mu mitima yanyu no mu bugingo bwanyu muyahambire ku maboko yanyu ababera ikimenyetso muyashire mu mpanga zanyu hagati y'amaso yanyu You shall teach them to your children speaking of them when you sit in your house when you walk by the way when you lie down when you rise up Muje muyigisha abana banyu muje muyavuga mwicaye mu mazu yanyu nuko mugenda mu nzira nuko muryamye nuko mubyutse You shall write them on the doorposts of your houses and on your gates kandi muyandike ku nkomanizo z'amazu yanyu no kubyugarira byanyu that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land of which the lord spoke to your fathers to give them like the days of the heavens above the earth kugira ngo imisi yanyu igwire mwebwe nabana banyu mu gihugu witeka yarahiye basekuruza abanyu kwa zabaha ihwane n'ijuru Now do you realize that God is saying that if you will do this two things will happen. Muziko aha imana yari rimivuga ya magambo iti ibi ni mubikora dori bizaba. Your days will be multiplied. Imisi yanyu izikuba. In other words, Muyandi magambo failure to do this is dangerous for your life. You may you may leave, you may your life may be cut short. Ibi bintu ni mutabikora muzakenyuka nicyo bishaka kuvuga. But we usually think it's only for the children. Akenshi rero dukunze kwibwira ko ari abana bakenyuka. But here it is even to us the children yes if they follow God's word they will have a long life but even to us. Yego bibiri tubwira ko abana ni bakurikiza inzira z'uwiteka bazabaho igihe kirekire ariko natwe turasabwa kubizirikana kubisubiramo cyangwa se dukenyuke. In other words how long do you enjoy the life and purposes of God for you depends to an extent on how you raise your family. Moyandi magambo uzagendera mu byiza Imana yakugambiriye kugendamo bijyanye n'urwego wita ku muryango wawe. Amen. Amen. Serious stuff. Ibi bintu ni ibintu bikomeye. But the God who made heaven and earth, the God who made family, this is what he says. Ariko Imana yaremye isi n'ijuru. Imana yashizeho imiryango nivuza ya magambo. We can choose to build on the sand or we can choose to build on the rock. It's a choice. Now, here we are told not to provoke the children. Here we are told not to provoke the children. Going back to Ephesians, don't provoke the children. In other words, there are things we can do as authority figures in the home that create an atmosphere where the children become resentful. Mu yandi magambo hari ibintu dushobora gukora mu rugo byatuma abana bagira gusharirira mu mitima yabo. As fathers we are to create an environment where children learn discipline, where they experience love, where they grow to become what God intended them to be. Mu yandi magambo ba papa bo mu rugo cyangwa se nka papa wo mu rugo ufite inshingano zo gushyiraho urugo ruguwe neza kugira ngo muri urugo rugo abana bige discipline bige gahunda kandi banabone ko bakunzwe mu miryango yabo Now two things can happen when we talk about this potential for perversion one we can abuse our authority Reka rero mbabwire ibintu bishobora kutubaho twebwe n'ubutware twahawe cyambere ubutware twahawe dushobora kutabukoresha uko tugomba kubukoresha You know to a point where when daddy arrives at home everyone takes cover 
mu buryo papa ashobora gutaha mu rugo abana bose na madamu bakajya kwihisha kubera yuko atukisha cyangwa se adafata bwa butware nkuko agomba kubutwara That's not what God intended Ntabwo ari by'Imana yagambiriye But the second thing that can happen is also equally dangerous Hari kindi kintu gishobora kuba kandi nacyo giteye ubwo one side one extreme is to take your authority to the extreme you basically are lord you have an iron fist everyone is terrified of you uruhane rumwe nk'umugabo mu rugo ushobora gufata bwa butware ugatera abantu ubwoba mu rugo ku buryo abantu bose bakubona bagahinda umushitsi the opposite extreme is to just disappear kurundi ruhande nanone hari umugabo udakoresha bwa butware imwa imana yamuhaye akabisuzugura ntaboneke ntagaragara not there you don't take decisions. Everything is left to go to your mother, go to your mother, go to your mother. That is equally dangerous. In fact, that is what got us into the mess we are in today. Often when I teach on this topic, I ask people who committed the first sin. Maybe let me ask here. And uh, <laughs> who do you think committed the first sin? Was it Adam or Eve? How many people think it was Eve? How many people think it was Adam? Now, you see, most of you don't want to commit yourself. If you left home, if you left home, you have three children. One of them is 12 years old, the other one is 5 years old, the other one is like 3 years old. Then you tell the 12 year old, make sure this happens, don't do this, don't play here, don't, you know, make sure you don't play football in the house, you give instructions. And when you come back home, you find they were playing in the house and the ball went and smashed the TV screen. And it's you see, the youngest one who did But it's actually the youngest one who did it. Who are you going to hold responsible? Will it be the youngest? Umukuru. Now, who got the instructions about what to do in the garden? Ninde wa hawa mabgiri za yibja gomba kukora mure den. Ni Adamu. The Bible says, while the woman was deceived, the man was not deceived. Ngonubgo umudamu aliwe wa shutkwe, nabgaru umugabo wa shutkwe. In other words, when Eve ate the fruit, she was deceived. She actually thought she was going to become wiser and better. She had been deceived. When Adam ate the fruit, he knew exactly what he was doing. He had to choose whether he lets his wife, you know, go and face the judgment and he remains the whole. He had to choose, so he decided to go with the wife. And God wouldn't listen to excuse. When they asked him, what have you done? He said, the woman. One person put it this way. Okay, when the woman ate the fruit, Satan realized, aha, plan. Step number one has happened. We were all waiting to see what Adam would do. Now don't ask me what would have happened if Adam hadn't eaten the fruit. I don't know. <laughs> but 
But it's when Adam ate the fruit, when Adam ate that fruit, that is when sin entered the human Ariko igihe Adam yari yimbuto nibwo icyaha cyaje mwisi uwo mwana was he when his wife was eating the fruit Ese ubundi Adam yari ari he umudama ry'imbuto In fact why did he not explain to Eve properly because you know the the serpent came with a lot of guile Ariko reka tunibaze tuti se kuki Adam atafashe n'umwanya wo kwigisha Eva amabwiriza yari yarahawe kuko Satani yaraje yihererana Eva ariko kuki atari yaramwigishije mbere You look at what happens in Genesis chapter 3 Reka tujye mu itangiriro igice cyagatatu verse 1 Umurongo wa mbere The serpent says to the woman Has God indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden Inzoka ibaza uwo mugore iti nukuri koko Imana yaravuze iti ntimuzarye kugiti cyose cyo muri ingobyi The woman said the serpent we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden God said you shall not eat it nor shall you touch it lest you die Uwo mugore arayisubiza ati imbuto zibiti byo muri ingobyi twemererwa kuzirya keretse imbuto zigiti kiri hagati y'ingobyi n'izi Imana yatubwiye iti ntimuzazirye ntimuzazikore wo mutazapfa Did God say you shall not even touch it? Imana seje zivuga ngo ntimuzazikoreho. There was a communication problem there. I don't know that Adam himself <laughs> told the wife don't even touch it. I don't know, but that was certainly not part of what God God said. Deja ubwo twamaze kubona ko habaye ikibazo mu buryo baganiriye kuko Imana ntabwo yari yaravuze ngo ntimuzakoreho. Wenda Adam yabwe Eva ngo ntuzakoreho. So the step and begins his uh, his, uh, his uh, argument. Satani cyangwa si yo nzoka rero itangira kumuganiriza no kumwigisha. But later when you see uh, what what the explanation the woman gives. Ariko yo witegereje ibisubizo uyu mugore yahaga inzoka. I used to think Adam had gone for a walk. Yena kundaga kwibaza ko wenda Adam yari yagiye gutembera mu busitani. But it looks like Adam was right there. Ariko ukigaragara Adam yari ahara aho ngaho hafa. Okay. Let me just get the scripture here. Deka deka mbashakira icyanditswe kibivuga. Ah, uh, verse 6, verse 6. When the woman saw that the tree was good for knowledge and was pleasant to the eyes and the tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and she also gave to her husband with her. Some versions say who was there with her. I would love to read what the Hebrew actually says. Uwo mugore umurongo wa gatandatu bibiri ravuga ngo uwo mugore abonye yuko icyo giti gifite ibyo kurya byiza kandi ko ari iki gikundiro kandi ko ari cyo kwifuriza kumenyesha umuntu bwenge asoroma ku mbuto zacyo arazirya ahaho numugabo we wari kumwe nawe Wenda bibiri y'igiheburayi ushobora kubibivuga It's not Hebrew The Kinyarwanda Bible says she who was there Okay Anyway, the point you can go do your study later. But the point is that Adam was there. Adam remained silent. Bibira y'inyarwanda yatubwiye ko Adam yarahahagaze ariko yicicike. Why was Adam silent? Ese kuki Adam yari yicicike? Today that problem still plagues men. We can withdraw, just remain silent. Uyu munsi abagabo bajya bikura mu bintu bakicicekera. You're supposed to do something you just remain silent. Ukabubizi nk'umugabo ko hari cyo ugomba gukora ariko ugahitamo kwicicekera ukakirebera ku ruhande. Look at the mess we are in today. Reba ibibazo rero twisanze mu uyu munsi. So we need to avoid both extremes. Tugomba rero kwirinda gufata kimwe muri ibi byombi. When we become disinterested, we become uninvolved in the family. Harabagabo atongera kwita kubirimo kuba mu muryango we akicecekera kabirebera ku ruhande you know, One of the things that is still a pain in my heart Kimwe mu bintu bikimbabaza uyu munsi The Lord has healed me so it's no longer a pain Imana yarankijije ariko My dad would never be present at school assemblies Hari kintu papa yajya gakora iyo bahamagazaga ababyeyi ntabwo yajya gazana rimwe All the other children would have their parents at end of term assemblies. My dad would never be there. Noneho bahamagaza ababyeyi nkabona abandi bana bose bazanye n'ababyeyi babo n'abapapa babo bahari ariko uwanje nkamushaka nkamubura. Let me tell you fathers that is a wound in the hearts of your children. Abagabo muri hano ibyo ni bikomere muteza abana banyu. You need to put some level of priority to your children when they are young especially. Abana banyu cyane cyane yo bakiri bato bagomba kubabona ko mubaha gaciro ndetse nibintu byabo mu biha gaciro Children come into the world expecting the love and attention of the father especially 
abana bavuka muri iyi si bategereje kubona urukundo rwa base mbere ya byose when it doesn't happen there's a wound iyo rero batabonye rwa rukundo bashaka barakomereka the problem with that wound is like it's not a wound you can see it is inside ikibazo rero cy'ibyo bisebe nuko atari bisebe byo ku mubiri ni bisebe byo mu mitima yabo but apart from the grace of god healing them sometime you know we can produce monsters from our homes. Usibye ubuntu bw'Imana kuzabakiza abo bana ariko mu byukuri turimo turarera abantu bazakora ibintu biteye ubwoba mu miryango kubera uburyo tubakomeretsa abakira abana. Now for the church. Itorero. And I know there are church leaders here. Kandi abizi ko hano hari abayobozi b'amatorero. We also need to be careful that we don't replace the role of the father with the church. Ndagira ngo abayobozi b'amatorero bige kino kintu ntimugasimbuze inshingano z'umugabo mu rugo ni itorero ngo wa mwanya umugabo yakaba yarimo itorero akaba ari ryo riwuhagarara Let's train men to take care of their families Mwigisha abagabo kwita ku ngo zabo There should be a strong men's ministry Hagomba kuba hariho departement cyangwa sitsinda ry'abagabo mu itorero rikomeye Where men are taught to take responsibility Aho abagabo bigishwa gusohoza inshingano zabo Sunday school can never be a replacement for what God is talking about Ibintu mwigisha abana muri ekodime cyangwa se mu mashuri yo ku cyumweru ntabwo byasimbuza imirimo base bagakoze mu mago It's good to have Sunday school Ni byiza ko baza ku cyumweru muri ekodime bakiza. Sunday school can never replace what you've been reading here. Ariko ekodime ni asimbura ibyanditswe twasomye. Amen. Amen. May God guide you on what to do. Imana ibayobore bakoze ibimana. Now when you do it right, some things three things happen to the children. Iyo tubikoze rero uko bikwiye gukorwa hari ibintu biba kubana. Number 1, fatherhood gives us a sense of identity. Icya mbere kurerwa na papa wawe bifite ikintu biguha identite cyangwa se urisobanukirwa ukigirira ikizere mu buzima One of the biggest questions in the world today is who am I Ikibazo abantu benshi kwisi bibaza uyu munsi ni iki ngiki ese ndindi We get identity from our fathers Kumenya abo turi bo tubikura kuri ba data batubyara But ultimately that should be as I said you introduce them as they begin to know you and they experience your presence they experience your love they also experience your discipline now you begin to introduce them to the heavenly father abana bazisobanukirwa abo bari bo nibatindana na base wowe nkase ukamwigisha ukamurera ukamwigisha mahame y'ijambo ry'Imana none ukazageza igihe umwigisha Imana wowe ukamuhuza n'Imana data and that's a very important transition kandi urwo rugendo ni urugendo rukomeye cyane There's a statement Moses made when he sang his song the song of Moses in Exodus chapter 15 Iyo dusomye indirimbo ya Mose iri mu kuva 15 hari jambo yavuze The Lord is my strength and my song He has become my salvation Mose yaravuze ngo uwiteka ni zo mbaraga zanje kandi niwe gakiza kanje He's my God and I'll praise him my father's God and I will exalt him. My father's God must become my God. Something terribly goes wrong if my father's God remains my father's God even when I'm an adult, adult. That is my father's God. Oh, my father's God, my father's God. Hari ikintu giteye ubwoba kiba iyi imana imana ya data ikomeza kuba imana ya data gusa ntibi imana yanje none nkazakura mu buzima nkavuga ngo ngwiriya ni imana ya data data yarasengaga data yarasengaga ariko wowe ni wivuge ko ya mana yabaye yawe The children of Israel experienced this they had always heard about the God of their fathers the God of their fathers but now God came and God took them out of Egypt and God parted the Red Sea and it was no longer my father's god it was now my god abisrael babaye hi gihe kini nibavuga ngo imana yabasokuruza imana yabasogokuruza ariko biza kuba ngombwa ko imana imanuka nabo bakayibonera bakayimenyera none no batangira kuvuga ngo imana yabo imana yabo so identity the second thing is self worth when children grow up under that environment created especially by the father the mother also plays a role they get a sense of dignity Abana rero iyo bakuriye mu muryango aho papa wabo yamenye gushyira mu yamenye gukoresha inshingano ze neza cyangwa gukoresha inshingano ze neza na mama wabo akaba akaba bimufashamo iyo bamaze kwisobanukirwa bari bo noneho batangira kwihagaciro 
Our children have grown up knowing they are accepted, they are loved, they know who they are in God. Uh, they have studied abroad. They don't have any problem with race or anything. They just know who they are. In fact, one of, well, recently I was talking with one of them. Abana bacu mu rugo twebwe uko twabareze twabigishije kumenya abari bo abana banje bari sobanukirwa kandi bafite agaciro bazi kwihesha agaciro barakuze tubishyurira amashuri biga amashuri meza bagiye kwiga iburayi ariko ibyo byose bishingiye kubo bari bo ejo bundi hari uwo twavuganaga They don't feel inferior to anyone Abana bacu kuno twabareze nti bajya bumva ko hari undi muntu ufite icyabarusha cyangwa basumba nti ntibishyira hasi I was talking to one of them who is in Australia now. Harumye twavuganaga ubu ari Australia. I asked him what is how about the problem with racism? Naramubwiye se ibintu byo kuvangura kuruhu muri Australia bimeze bite? He said that if it is there I don't see it. Arambye ati papa niyo bya bihari gye nta byo mbona. I don't pay attention to it. Nanubwo mbyitaho ntabwo bindeba. It's because they are confident about who they are. It doesn't matter where they are. Abana banje rero bazabo bari bo aho wabashira hose kwisi ntacyo bibabwiye. If you have a problem with the color of my skin, that is your problem. You deal with it. I have no problem. That is your problem. Abana banje barambiye ngo umuntu afite ikibazo cy'uruhu mfite ni wugifite ntabwo ari gye ufite ikibazo. Gye uruhu nambaye n'urwange ntacyo runtwaye ntacyo rumbwiye. I know who I am in God. Nzuwo ndiwe mu mana icabandi bantekerezaho ntabwo kindeba. So self worth agaciro. Now self worth comes from the father's approval. Again the father is very key. The father. Agaciro kumwana mu muryango kava mu kwemerwa na se. Iyo se amwemera kandi akamwereka kwa mwakira bimuha agaciro bikamuha kwiyubaha. Do you know what I believe was one of Jesus best days on earth? Ekaromba bwire umunsi nibaza ko waba waranezereye waranezereje waranezereje Yesu mu misi yose yabaye ho kwisi. I think it was the day he was baptized. Ono umunsi Yesu yabatijwe ni umunsi. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. After he came out of the water, a voice from heaven came saying, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. God is affirming his son. He's saying he's my son. I'm happy with him. Every child needs Every child needs to hear that from their father. Buri mwana keneye kumva se amubwira kwa mukunda kandi amwishimira. Every child needs to hear that. Buri mwana keneye kubyumva. Cuz most times we are telling them you'll not amount to anything. You know what's wrong with you? So the child grows up, the father the child is longing for that affirmation. You know the little child comes and says, "Daddy, daddy, look what I've done." They are looking for affirmation. Akenshi rero usanga mu miryango yubu base ari we babavuma akamubwira ngo nta cyuzigezaho nta cyuzaba cyo mu buzima nta huzagera noneho umwana bikamutera inyota yo guhora ashaka ko se amushima cyangwa se ise amenya agaciro ke buriya iyo umwana wawe ashaka kubwira ngo papa ngo dore ikintu nakoze papa dore icyo nagezeho ntugire ngo hari kindi abashaka abagira ngo umubwire ngo ndakwishimiye ndagukunda that is very important because again I don't know about here but many of our cultures create a distance between the father and the son. Sinzi mu Rwanda ariko imico yahandi muri Africa usanga hari urugendo rurerure hagati y'umugabo ndetse n'umwana we w'umuhungu bategerana bataganira badasabana. In my own tribe when a child reaches teenage I'm not even allowed to shake my father's hand. I'm keep a distance. Twebwe no mu bwoko bwacu bwoko mvamo iyo ugeze mu myaka iri hejuru ya 10 ningahe ntabwo ubukemero no gusuhuza papa wawe mu ntoki umurebera kuruka mubwirira kure After my primary living exams I was the number 2 in the country that year Twakoze ibizambe bya leta mbu wa kabiri mu gihugu cyose My dad came back home from work he doesn't know we really normally do that but he was very excited and he came and told me you've done very well this is what you've done Noneho maze gutsinda ibizame bya leta papa avuye ku kazi azayishimye cyane ati wakoze neza watsinze So I ran to jump and hug him. Noneho niruka nkangira ngo muhobere. And he put out his hand. Aita anshiraho ikiganza ati ntunyegere. You know that I still remember that. Ibaze ko uyu munsi nkibyibuka. Children look for affirmation from their parents and we need to give it. I'm not saying don't correct them. You need to correct them but make sure you look for every opportunity to 
commend them when they have done something good. Abana bakeneye kumva urukundo rwa base no gushyigikirwa na base ntabwo mvuze ngo ntimukabahane ntabwo mvuze ngo ntimukabakosore ariko nanone mujye muhora mushakisha kanya kari kokose ko kumushima no kumwereka kumukunda kandi umwishimira. The third thing that happens when we've done our job right is that children grow up secure. Icyagatatu ababyeyi cyangwa se base iyo basohoje inshingano zabo bituma barera abana bafite umutekano muri bo batekanye badahunga abanwa nakantu kari kokose Now I want to bring this session to a close but let me bring something else as I close this session then we'll have a time of prayer Ndashaka kugera ku musozo w'inyigisho zacu uyu munsi turi bugire n'umwanya wo gusenga This is something I learned first hand Ariko ndashaka kubabwira ikintu niyigiye giye ubwanje I've been leading intercession in my country for 30 years. Well, that's not correct. I've been I've been involved in intercession for 30 years, but I've been leading for 15 years. I noticed something after some time. This was about Maybe about 15, 16 years ago. I noticed something. Amen. Let, let some people just minister to her. We are touching some very deep things. So Whenever it so happened that a time would come when we are, I would be going to lead a night of prayer. For some reason, that is the time when I would have a misunderstanding with my wife. One day it was so dramatic. I was just walking out of the house to go and lead the night of prayer. Then my wife brought up something and we had a misunderstanding. One time we were beginning an extended time of fasting and prayer, 40 days. And then we had a very big misunderstanding. The Lord began to teach me something. And let me show it to you. It's in the book of uh, Malachi, chapter 2. Malachi. 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 Malaki yandiki wabatambye iki gitabo cyandiki wabatambye You and I are priests and kings because of what Jesus has done so this book is very very relevant to us Mbibutse ko jewe nawe turi abatambye nkuko Kristo yaducunguye murabizi ko turi abatambye ubwoko bw'abatambye Yeah the problem with the offerings we are bringing to his house Malaki yarafite ikibazo ku maturo batangaga icyo gihe And then there are corruption that the tithes and offering now, look at verse 13. This is the second thing you do. You cover the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping and crying, so he does not regard the offering anymore, nor does it receive it with goodness from your hands. Malaki kabiri chumi nagata tubibiri ravgango, kandi harihoni bindi mukor. Mutwikira igicaniro cy'uwiteka amarira no kuboroga mugasuhuza imitima bigatuma atita ku maturo mutura nta yakirengwa neze Yet you say for what reason? Nyamara mukabaza muti impamvu niki? Because the Lord has been witness between you and the wife of your youth with whom you have dealt treacherously yet she is your companion and your wife by covenant. Nyamara mukabaza muti impamvu niki impamvu nuko uwiteka yabaye umugabo wo guhamya ibyawe nibyo umugore wo mu busore bwawe wariganije nubwo yari mugenzi wawe akaba numugore mwasezeranye isezerano But he did not make them one but did he not make them one having a remnant of the spirit and why one his six godly offspring therefore take it to your spirit 
and let none deal treacherously with the wife of his youth. For the Lord of God of Israel hates what the, uh, says that he hates divorce, for it covers one's government, government with violence, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, take it to your spirit that you do not deal treacherously. Kuko nanga gusenda ni kuwiteka imana ya Israeli vuga nanga no muntu utwikiriza urugomo umwambaro we ni kuwiteka nyiringa bavuga nuko rero muri ndi mitima yanyu mwe kuriganya Now let me just unpack this for you Reka reka mbibasobanurire neza I refer to this passage as the Pentecostal church in the Old Testament Iri jambo ndarivuga nka hari jambo ry'abapantekote bicyo giye mu isezerano rya kera Why Kubera iki you know, they had prayer meetings, eh? But in many of our prayer meetings, we can't even cry. Or if you cry, it's just one tear that you wipe away very quickly. But God says that when these ones came to pray, they flooded the altar with tears. I don't know how much crying was going on. Their prayer meetings was not just a little talk with Jesus, whispering, you know. They loud. They would wail. If you were walking outside, you'd come and see what is happening in this church. But you know what was going on? God was not listening to any of it. Zero. Zero. Why? God was saying, I don't even want to hear your noise because I see how you're treating your wives. Forget it. Forget it. So I began to understand that Satan was very sneaky. He would wait for the time when I'm going to lead a prayer meeting and then bring a misunderstanding with my wife. So you can go and shout and wail and dance the whole night away. It just stops here. Doesn't go anywhere. You know, I used to think it was only in the Old Testament, but you know this verse in First Peter chapter three. Let me just remind you. And this is especially important for church leaders. In First Peter, it talks about, um, let me just get the, 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 the passage, chapter 3, uh, verse 7. Likewise, husbands, dwell with them, that is your wives, with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. Petero wa mbele gata tu mrongu wakari ngu bibiri wafuga ngu na mge wagabo nuku mwane na wagore wanyu ngere kanubge nje mubjo mwajirira kuko wa meze nginzabja zida huanije na mge gukomera kandi mububa he nga baragan wa na mge ubu nubgubu jingo na baragan wa na mge ubu nubgubu jingo kujira ngu wa masenje shoyanyu ye kujiri ngomnyi. Now if your prayers are hindered I don't know where you're going to get help from. No ne niba masenje shoyanyu wafiti ngomnyi ni ndu za gutabara. You see, the devil knows the Bible. He doesn't have to send thieves to your house or to send, uh, you know, uh, fire or something. If he wants to hinder you, he knows what the word of God says. Satani, as if you really can't do this, you can't do this. And how can you go here as a bajura, kukutera ninjori wawe, and how can you go to zingongi umuriro. Satan, as if you can't do this, as a hokukora gusa, now in husu vizuki. You can come and do all the gymnastics here and shout and But in the spirit, Satan will just be laughing. So as we wind this up, this is the first phase. I've taken more time on it. Am I still friends with the men? Amen.
Amen. Yeah. When we get it right here, things work a lot easier. Not, not that you know, women can also get it wrong, of course, but the beginning is very important. Okay. I'm going to invite the married men. Just stand up. Let's respond to God. And let's go into prayer. If you're married, Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads and pray. Now I'd like to give you a chance as we begin. I don't know what the Holy Spirit has touched in your life. Satan condemns, God convicts. There's a difference. When the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, he doesn't just say you're bad, you're evil. He's usually very, very specific. He will touch something very specific in your life. You know? So as we respond in prayer, and I'd like the rest to just pray along with us, um, I will give you some time to just speak to God and confess where you've gone wrong. Let's begin there. Let us just pray together. Lord, we ask, I ask, Lord, for forgiveness for every place where I have not represented you correctly to my wife. Let every man be praying. Where have we misrepresented you to my children? Where have we not understood the high calling? Where have we been selfish? Where have we put myself first? Where have we not taken responsibility for the spiritual nature and development of my wife and children? Where have abused the authority that you gave me? Where I have not been involved, where I have withdrawn and just let things happen. Where I have Father, forgive me. Data tubabarire. Forgive me. Tubabarire. Forgive me, Lord. Mana mbabarira. Thank you for the grace that is available. Urakoze kubgubuntu bwawe bubereho kubwacu. I purpose to change. Niyemeje guhinduka. I purpose to change. Niyemeje guhinduka. I know it's not easy to lay down my life like Christ did. Ndabizi ko bitoroshye ko suka ubuzima bwanje nkuko Kristo yasutse ubuzima bwe kubwitorero. I know that even Jesus struggled in the Garden of Gethsemane. But he overcame. So I come to the throne of grace this morning. I ask that you'll extend your grace. Extend your grace. Extend your grace to me. Help me to take on the mantle of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help me to take on your own mantle of leadership as Father. Help me to become everything I should be to the woman that you've entrusted me with. Help me to love her to take care of her, to help her in the areas where she's weak. Help me to raise up the children in the fear, in your fear. Show me what I should do in my own circumstances. 
to ensure that they are disciples. Kugira ngo mbarere neza uko bikwiye. Help me and teach me and show me how to make time for them. Mfasha mana unyereke kandi unyigishe. So that I'll hand over to you arrows that can be sharp in the hearts of your enemies. Kugira ngo abana banje nzabarere babe imyambi irasa neza idahushe abanzi bawe. I look to you father. Uiteka mana ni wowe mpanze amaso. From you I draw my name as father. Ni wowe nkura hizina ryanje ryo kuba papa. Let your mantle come over me. Reka rero umwitero wawe wo kuba data ungeho. Help me be everything I'm supposed to be. Fasha kuba icyo ngomba kuba cyose. In Jesus name. Ni izina rya Yesu. Amen. 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 We'll just take another category of prayer for this session. Uh, if the men can sit down. May God help us, all of us. Now I'd like to just specially pray for those who need to release their fathers. Father. I know this is a very deep and personal thing. I'm not going to ask you to stand up. It doesn't matter if your father is dead. There is still something in your heart. You so let's bow our heads in prayer. And let me ask you to speak to God about those things that happened to you. Whether your father was abusive physically, he beat you, or he beat you, actually I mean beat, not that he disciplined you, but he just was senselessly beating you. He may have been sexually abusive. It happens in homes. Whatever it is, he may not have kept his word. Like it, like mine did. Just pour out your heart to God. Speak to him and just say, Father, this is the, what my father did. He wrongly represented you. But today I choose to forgive. I choose. I make a decision. I make a decision. I release him. I forgive him. I leave the matter in your hands. Father, I ask you to bring healing in my heart. I ask you to heal the wounds, the wounds I've carried for many years. Father, I ask you to heal the false image I've had of you. As I release my father. Show me who you really are. Visit me in the points of pain. Visit me in the points of disappointment. I know you're not like that. Show me who you really are. Visit me, Father. Expose yourself to me. Let me see the Father heart. Let your spirit minister the Father heart. Just continue to pray. God has promised that in the restoration of Africa is going to raise strong families. This is how God works. If families are not healed, really, even what we do for nations will not last. 
iyo imiryango idakize ibikomere byo mu mutima nibyo dukorera ibihugu bigeraho bigasenyuka ntabwo bitinda God raising fatherhood after his own heart. Eka dukomeze gusenga kugira ngo Imana ikomeze gukora ibi bitangaza mu miryango yacu ihagurutse imitima ya ba data aba papa mu miryango bamenye ishingano zabo. Amen. Amen. Father we thank you that you are the source of all fatherhood. Data turagushima kuko kuba data biva kuri wowe. Once again as we stand on this altar on this platform of Africa Rise Mana ubwo duhagarara hani imbere muri iki giterane cy'Afrika haguruka We pray that all over this continent you'll visit families Turasenze ngo ugenderere imiryango yose iri kuri uyu mugabane And raise up models Uhagurutse ababera abandi ingero nziza Raise up voices Uhagurutse amajwi Restore the family Usani imiryango let it go be according to divine order. Imiryango igendere nkuko gahunda yawe nyayo y'ubumana iriho. Lord that the families here will reflect who you are. Leke imiryango yumve kandi igaragaze uwuriwe. In Jesus name we pray. Mwizina rya Yesu Kristo dusenze. Amen. Amen. Amen.